Hello everyone, I'm Sarah of Rich Textures Crochet and welcome. Today we're going to learn how to crochet the Helena beanie, which you can see here in front of you. Now I have my sample one here shown without a pom-pom. There's photos on my website at richtexturescrochet.com so that you can see it with, but I just wanted to show that the hat looks great with or without one. This hat is made with a super bulky weight yarn. I'm showing it here in the Bernat Softy Chunky yarn. There's about 100 yards, 108 yards per ball, and you're going to need one ball of a single color for this hat pattern. You're also going to need a 10 millimeter crochet hook, which is an N15 hook, and a copy of the free written pattern, which is on richtexturescrochet.com. So thank you so much for joining me while you're here. I invite you to subscribe, take a look around. There's lots of other uh, super bulky weight beanies and other weight beanies on my channel. I'm sure that you will find one that you love. If you're looking for one in particular, you may want to check out the Belfast beanie. It's a very easy one to work like the Helena beanie that we're going to work today. The Helena beanie is worked from the brim up. So we're going to start by making a slip knot. The size I'm going to work today is an adult size, so measuring about 20 to 22 inch circumference. So we're going to start by working a foundation chain of 40 chains. If you would like to change the size of your beanie, you will need an even multiple of stitches, so a multiple of two stitches. Today we're going to chain 40. Once you have your foundation chain worked, being careful not to twist your chain, you're going to join with a slip stitch into your first stitch. You're then ready to begin round one. For round one, you're going to chain one and into the same stitch as joining, work one half double crochet. You're then going to half double crochet into the next stitch and into each stitch all the way around. At the end of round one, you're going to join with a slip stitch into the top of your first stitch. You'll have a total of 40 chains. For now, for the next two rounds, rounds two and three, you're going to chain one and working into the third loop of each stitch all the way around, you're going to half double crochet. To find your third loop, I'm now looking at the front of my work. When you look at the top of your work, you'll see your front loop only at the top of your stitch and then your back loop only. If you bring your work forward and look at the back of your half double crochet stitch, you will see a loop that runs along just under that back loop. This is your third loop. So we're going to yarn over and insert our hook under that third loop, that loop that runs under the back loop, and yarn over, drop a loop, and complete our stitch. That's your third loop. So you're going to work a half double crochet in the third loop only of each stitch all the way around. Join with a slip stitch in your first stitch, chain one and repeat. So you want to work two rounds of half double crochets in the third loop only. As you work the rounds, you will see that when you work in the third loop, it's going to push the top of your stitch forward and give you this nice ridge of texture. So go ahead, work two rounds of half double crochet in the third loop. It'll bring you to the end of round three. Join with a slip stitch in your first stitch 
and uh, meet me back here. I'm here at the end of my round three. We're going to join with a slip stitch into the top of your first stitch. For round four, we're going to chain one and we're going to begin by working a front post double crochet around the post of the first stitch. When I'm working around the post of the first stitch, I'm including this chain one here as well. So to work your front post double crochet, you're going to yarn over, bring your hook in front of your work and insert your hook around the post of this first stitch, inserting your hook from front around back and out through the front again, yarn over and drop a loop, yarn over and pull through two loops, yarn over and pull through two more. That's your front post double crochet. You're then going to work a back post double crochet around the post of the next stitch. To work your back post double crochet, yarn over, bring your hook in back of your work and insert your hook from the back through to the front, around the post and out through the back again. Yarn over, draw up a loop, yarn over and pull through two loops, yarn over and pull through two more. That's your back post double crochet. You're going to repeat that all the way around, working a front post double crochet around the post of the next stitch, followed by a back post double crochet around the post of the next stitch. Front post double crochet, followed by a back post double crochet. All the way around where you will join with a slip stitch into the top of your first stitch. At the end of round four, you'll have finished with a back post double crochet, join with a slip stitch into the top of your first stitch, and chain one. For round five, we're going to work a front post half double crochet around the post of the first stitch. The front post half double crochet is worked almost exactly as the front post double crochet. You're going to yarn over, insert your hook from the front, through to the back around the post of that first stitch out through the front again yarn over drop your loop yarn over and pull through all the loops on your hook for the front post half double crochet you're then going to work a back post half double crochet around the post of your next stitch you're going to repeat that all the way around work a front post half double crochet around the post of the next stitch followed by a back post half double crochet around the post of the next stitch. When you come to your first stitch join with a slip stitch into the top of your first stitch. At the end of round five you'll have finished with your half uh, back post half double crochet join with a slip stitch into the top of your first stitch. Now for round six and seven, just as you did before, for two rounds you're going to chain one and work a half double crochet in the third loop of each stitch all the way around. So half double crochet in the third loop of each stitch all the way around, join with a slip stitch into the top of your first stitch, chain one and repeat. This is for round six and seven, so you'll have two rounds of your half double crochets in the third loop, and then you will meet me back here at the end of round seven. For round eight, once again, just as you did before, you're going to chain one, work a front post, double crochet around the post of the first stitch. Again, I'm working around that chain one, and the post of the first stitch, a double crochet stitch, and then work a back post double crochet around the post of the next stitch. You're going to repeat that all the way around, front post double crochet around the post of the next stitch, back post double crochet around the post of the next. When you come to your first stitch, you're going to join with a slip stitch into the top of your first stitch. At the end of round eight, join with a slip stitch into the top of your first stitch and chain one. 
For round nine, we're going to work a front post half double crochet around the post of the first stitch, followed by a back post half double crochet around the post of the next stitch. You're going to repeat that all the way around and join with a slip stitch into the top of the first stitch. So front post half double crochet followed by a back post half double crochet. At the end of round nine, you're going to join with a slip stitch into the top of your first stitch. For round ten, you're going to chain one, then once again working in the third loop, work one half double crochet into that same stitch as joining, and then into each stitch all the way around. When you come to the end of this round, you're going to join with a slip stitch into the top of your first stitch. At the end of round 10, join with a slip stitch into the top of your first stitch and chain one. For round 11, we're going to continue working in the third loop, but we're going to start the decrease rounds to form the top of our hat. So what we're going to do, again, working in the third loop, you're going to half double crochet into that first stitch and into each of the next three stitches. Working in the third loop, so you should have four half double crochet stitches. You're then going to work a half double crochet two stitches together, again working in this third loop. To work my half double crochet two stitches together, I'm going to yarn over, insert my hook in the third loop of that next stitch, yarn over and draw up a loop, then insert my hook into the third loop of the next stitch, yarn over and draw up a loop. You'll have four loops on your hook, yarn over and draw through all four loops. You're then going to repeat that all the way around, work a half double crochet in the third loop of each of the next four stitches. And then half double crochet two stitches together. You're going to repeat this all the way around ending with a half double crochet in each of the final four stitches and then join with a slip stitch into the top of your first stitch. At the end of round 11, you're going to join with a slip stitch into the top of your first stitch. You should have a total of 34 stitches. We're now going to continue working decrease rounds, but this time working under both loops at the top of our stitch. So we're no longer working in the third loop. For round 12, we're going to chain one, work a half double crochet in each of the next three stitches. So starting with that same stitches joining, there's one, two, and three, followed by a half double crochet, two stitches together. You're going to repeat that all the way around, half double crochet in each of the next three stitches. followed by a half double crochet two stitches together. Join with a slip stitch into the top of your first stitch. At the end of round 12, you're going to end off with a half double crochet into each of the final four stitches. Join with a slip stitch into the top of your first stitch and at the end of round 12 you'll have a total of 28 stitches. For round 13, chain 1, work a half double crochet in each of the next two stitches and then work a half double crochet two stitches together. You're going to repeat that all the way around, half double crochet 
in each of the next two stitches, followed by a half double crochet, two stitches together. When you come around to your first stitch, you'll end on that half double crochet, two stitches together, and you can join with a slip stitch into the top of your first stitch. At the end of round 13, you'll have a total of 21 stitches. You can join with a slip stitch into the top of your first stitch. Chain one for round 14, half double crochet into the next stitch and half double crochet two stitches together. You're going to repeat that all the way around, half double crochet into the next stitch, followed by a half double crochet two stitches together. When you come to your first stitch, join with the slip stitch into the top of your first stitch. At the end of round 14, you'll have a total of 14 stitches. Join with a slip stitch into the top of your first stitch. You have one round remaining. We're going to chain one. And in our final round, round 15, we're going to half double crochet two stitches together over each stitch all the way around. At the end of this round, you'll have a total of seven stitches and you can join with a slip stitch into the top of that first stitch. I'm going to keep traveling around here So then join with a slip stitch into the top of your first stitch. You're then going to fasten off, leaving a little bit of a long tail. At this time, you're going to then take your yarn needle and thread your long tail through. We're going to use the top, this long tail to sew the top of our hat closed. You're then going to take your yarn needle and weave it in and out through that top round of stitches all the way around. When you come to your first stitch, you're then going to pull the the uh, top of the hat closed. And I'll show you how. So I have my opening, you're just going to simply pull it closed, tuck your needle down into the center of your hat. I like to finish it off just on the inside so that if there is a little bit of a knot showing, it's not going to show on the outside. You're then going to fasten off I like to secure it a little bit up at the top and then you're going to weave in your ends just like so. Once you've woven in your ends you can fasten off. Go ahead and weave in any other ends that you might have showing there. I have one down at the bottom that I'll do later and your Helena beanie is then complete. If you'd like, you can add a pom-pom to the top or leave it as is, but that is how you work the Helena beanie. So thank you so much for joining me once again. I invite you to take a look around and uh, don't forget to subscribe and I look forward to seeing you again next time for another great crochet hat pattern. Until then, happy crocheting. Bye. Thank you.